to the Daisy, W. Wordsworth. The speaker has found a way to uplift the humble Daisy by thinking of interesting nicknames for it. To the Daisy With little here to do or see of things that in the great world be, Daisy, again I talk to thee, for thou art worthy. Thou unassuming commonplace of nature with that homely face, and yet with something of a grace which love makes for thee. Oft on the dappled turf at ease I sit and play with similes, loose types of things through all degrees, thoughts of thy raising. And many a fond and idle name I give to thee for praise or blame, as is the humour of the game while I am gazing. An undemur of lowly port, or sprightly maiden of love's court, in thy simplicity the sport of all temptations. A queen in crown of rubies dressed, a starveling in a scanty best, are all as seems to suit thee best thy appellations. A little cyclops with one eye, staring to threaten and defy, that thought comes next and instantly the freak is over. The shape will vanish, and behold, a silver shield with loss of gold, that spreads itself some fairy bold in fight to cover. I see thee glittering from afar, and then thou art a pretty star, not quite so fair as many are in heaven above thee, yet like a star with glittering crest, self-poised in air thou seemst to rest. May peace come never to his nest, who shall reprove thee, sweet flower, for by that name at last, when all my reveries are past, I call thee, and to that cleave fast, sweet silent creature, that breathes with me in sun and air, do thou as thou art wont repair, my heart with gladness and a share, 